Wow, Rainbow, y'all have set a new bar for disappointment and pointless activities. Why are you even throwing Granny's old horseshoes around? You don't want to know what these things have been through. Ugh. Oh yeah? I bet you 15% you can't get closer. Ha! A sucker's bet! Sweet Celestia, why are these things slimy? Ha <laughs> ha! I can't hear you over me winning. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. But if you're so confident, how's double or nothing sound? If you want to waste more money, go ahead. I guess it's only fair as a future Wonderbolt Princess of Equestria to let her soon to be subject to her- What? How? You were just complaining how hard these nasty things were to throw. It's called a hustle, Pepper Sphere. If you're so sure about being better than your future princess, improve it. I challenge thee to an easily complicated series of events with loosely enforced rules, where the only competition that actually matters is the last event. So, lack of Wonderbolts decathlon. Well, I've got Apple Bloom working the farm for most of the next few days. Big Mac got rejected again, so he's not doing much. Sure, I got time to kill. What are the stakes? Applejack, we're vegetarian. That's a felony. I was just gonna say loser has to bow down to the winner and proclaim them the future princess of awesomeness. You know, you amaze me in your stupidity sometimes, Dash. Alright, if only to see the look on your face when I kick your flank into next Tuesday. Then it's a day. Never say that again. Explain what this dire emergency is. Well, you you're here to see this workhorse bow down to a future princess of awesomeness. That's what. You're just here to make sure that while we have this pointless competition, no one outright cheats. And judging by Miss Fair Play over there, I think it might be necessary. Me cheat? Applejack, you hurt me. I model myself after the Wonder Balls of Pony Six. A real vote of confidence. Welcome, one and all, to this. Um. Twilight, what is this event called? Applejack never gave me a name. Other than a waste of time? I don't care, just make something up. Welcome every pony to the first time waster challenge. That's right, the event where you get to see two ponies waste no time in wasting everyone else's. Now let's get started. Alright, go on one of you. Applejack finished in 17 seconds. But according to what little rules you gave me, hitting that bow, that's a five second penalty. <laughs> you should eat less. You'd get around those barrels a lot easier if you did. Anything in those rules about taping my opponent's mouth shut? Keep your kings to the bedroom, AJ. Rainbow, go! Whoa, Rainbow, you did it in 18 seconds. Ah, uh, yeah. I'd like to dedicate this victory to AJ's larger than average flank. Yeah, yeah, you keep laughing. We'll see how long this lasts. What was that about my larger than average flank? Phillies and gentle colts! After far more events than the budget of the show can allow, Applejack and Rainbow Dash are tied at 41! I really don't understand why this is a best of 83. And also, who the hell are you talking to? These ponies. Of course. I'm surrounded by idiots again. Now, for our last pointless event, the tug of war. I hope you're ready to see two ponies get down and dirty. <laughs> because here we go. You know, if you're told you're gonna use your wings this much, I'd have picked them off before this competition. You're a cheat, you saw. Like I said, Applejack, I told you I'd win. Now, all that stands in my way of true awesomeness is this last event. And what about our judge? I thought you were supposed to be enforcing the rules. These rules are crap. 
They're bigger than the reason I make spike water my plants with tears. I knew we should have gone with a different kind of competition. These needlessly complicated series of events with loosely enforced rules are always a mess. Can we have this last event tomorrow? I'm bored and have to go do some practice stunts for my awesome princess crowning tomorrow. We can use the running of the leaves as a race for our last event. But, I want a fair race. Which means you are only using your legs. None of this fancy flying shit. Yeah, yeah, I can kick that oversized flank of yours without my wings. So, remind me again, why do you even care about being a part of this race? You spent all of yesterday complaining how Applejack and Rainbow's competition was a waste of time. Well, you see, Spike, it was a waste of time because I lost my time preparing to win this race. There is no way in hell I'm going to let one of these hicks from this town spend all night at the subpar stampeding celebration, celebration spelled with an S, alone with Celestia. Why does Celestia even have this competition? Why does she care about Ponyville enough to let some ponies spend the whole night with her? Because it's a lot easier to get ponies to participate in unpaid manual labor when time with a princess is dangled in front of them. Billies and gentle colts, the running at the leaves will begin in five minutes. Unfortunately, I was disqualified after last year's demonic incident, so I'll be your pro commentator instead. Who's ready for hype? Well, looks like you've got an interesting co-commentator. Enjoy metaphorical and potentially literal hell spike. Spike, just the dragon I wanted to see. You want to hop in the balloon and join me in commentary glory? About that. Before I get into an isolated and enclosed space with you, I'm not going to be a part of any weird rituals, am I? <laughs> of course not, silly. The old gods don't like dragons. Every pony knows that. Huh. Well, that's a relief. I guess I'll join you then. Co-pro commentator Spike here with a reminder that the race will be beginning shortly. Well, did you hear that, AJ? I don't even need a reason to beat you anymore. I win, and I'll finally be able to talk to this year about becoming a wonderful princess. You do know our bet still stands, right? Which means... With y'all tied up nice and tight, there's no chance of any foul play from you. That reminds me of this one time at Van Camp- Damn it, Pinky, this is still a kid's show. The soon-to-be princess is not bothered by the loss of her wings. I'll win, no matter what. Rainbow, I really hope that you aren't seriously going to ask Celestia to be made a princess. Do you really need to ask that question, Twy? Also, what are y'all doing here? Shouldn't you be studying or complaining about some pointless thing? If you must know, I'm here to race and be the one who gets that evening with the princess. You? <laughs> well, you enjoy the race then, Twilight. I'll be sure to get a cool cider ready for your victory speech. <laughs> You're gonna lose so badly. Scaving as ever, Rainbow. Welcome to the running of the leaves. Fun fact, the leaves actually do very little of the running. That's all up to my little ponies. Did you just title drop? Yeah, but the actual show did it, so it's fine. So when you say very little of the running, what exactly do you mean? Are you implying the leaves do, in fact, run on occasion? Well, they did last year. That's a part of the reason I'm not allowed to race anymore. It was something about some foals being trampled by leaves, and I don't think the parents have forgiven me just yet. That's really rude. I even managed to bring them back from the dead and everything! The fact that I'm stuck with this balloon with you has just gotten that bit more terrifying. Not so easy when you can't cheat now, is it? Time to use my secret weapon. Awesomeness. See you at the finish line. Oh, for pony's sakes. You think I'd have noticed a massive rock sticking out of the ground like that? Well, if you'd prepared like I did and studied the entire layout of these woods, you know where every rock and stump is. You know, only you can make racing a study topic. Ah, forget it. I gotta go catch up. What was it you said back there? See you at the finish line? Hey Spike, did you know this year's running is the fifth anniversary of when the death traps got removed from the track? No, I did not know that. How long were they a part of the race anyways? Oh, since it began 88 years ago. And what made them decide to recently change their mind? Well, after I raised an unholy mob of undead ponies to storm the Canterlot Cupcake Store, they figured providing me with fresh corpses was a bad idea. How were the cupcakes? Eh, a little too much flour, they made it too powdery. I knew it! I knew she was a cheater. Are you actually this dumb? How did you miss tripping over a massive stump? I don't have time for your fancy terms, Twilight. If that's how AJ wants to play, then it is on. Oh, you could trip me up, did you? 
the flying horse dung was that for? Yeah, you keep doing that and I'll rip that right out of you. Oh, and it fears Applejack has kicked Beehive. Fun fact, I placed two beehives on the track. One of them is filled with kind and loving bees that just want to provide honey to the world, and the other is full of hypervenomous tartar spawn that with just one sting can kill a pony. Very slowly and very painfully. I can fathom literally no reason for you to do that. You know, I don't think I've ever seen such a physical race before. Clearly, you haven't seen the Wonderbolts race. Anyway, AJ, I wanted to say something to you. And that is... I am the quick, fast Wonder Horse. Alright, it's the last leg of the race and I'm honestly surprised there's been no long-term damage done to either of them what with all the fighting. I'm a little disappointed, actually. I was hoping for some quality maiming. You know what? Looking at these two just running in a straight line instead of trying to murder each other is far less exciting. I'm free! Victory is mine! My ass it is. Aha! <laughs> I won! Bullshit! I won! Actually, due to the ridiculous dust cloud you two were making, we couldn't tell. So you tied. What? For first? <laughs> of course not. You tied for last. Then who won the evening with Celestia? You? you? I told you to. I studied every part of the racetrack and knew the quickest way to get to the end by using the least amount of effort. That, and also when I saw I was about to lose, I just teleported. But... But my wonderful princess of awesomeness. How can I get Princess Celestia to make me one now? Make you a what now? Princess, princess Celestia? Celestia? What are you doing here? Apparently, my royal advisor said I have to be present to congratulate the pony who I'll be wasting my... Spending my evening with. Now, which one of you won the race? Oh, um, that would be me, princess. Oh, I'm so excited. An entire evening with just you and me. We'll be able to talk about magic and can a lot and how it's so much better than this horrible mess of a town. And oh, sweet merciful me. Well, uh, whoopee for winning, Twilight. I can't wait to spend a day of my life with you. If you'll excuse me, I need to go be anywhere else. I knew she'd be excited to hear I won. This celebration spelled with an S is going to be great. <laughs> <laughs>